Welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here my name is Loopy and I'm an artist. With this channel I like to document my art career as well as my lifestyle as an artist. In, in this video I'll be taking you guys with me to the art shows that I participated in recently in Dallas, Texas and in Oklahoma City with Pancakes and Booze. Pancakes and Booze is an international art show. They have pop-ups all throughout the countries and the ones I decided to do were one in Texas and one in Oklahoma. It was an amazing time. Loved it. I loved all of it and they each had their own unique thing that I loved about it. In Dallas, I was able to connect with the audience a lot more and see the appreciation that they had for my art. While in Oklahoma, I was able to network with artists that had my similar interests and taste and views and admiration for life. So if you're an artist and you're figuring out if art shows is something you want to do, I hope this video inspires you to take those next steps. But if you're not an artist and you're just simply a soul that can appreciate the beauty and craftsmanship that goes into these shows and thank you and and us artists will always appreciate your unwavering support so i hope you guys enjoy this video without rambling too much let's go to dallas i already finished setting up i was gonna record that process of setting up during the art show i didn't do it because i was ready. i was under pressure there was i was under pressure time wise right now everything's all set up however i do have an appointment set up for a tattoo i haven't eaten so i'm on my way to raising canes and again i'm still on a time crunch because i'm supposed to be there at 3 30. So i'm on a time crunch to get a little chicken kids meal my hand has been shaking my this hand has been shaking so much and i think it's just like the nerves the nerves make me nervous i'm trying to gaslight myself that i'm not nervous and this is just excitement didn't know how much time i was gonna have to get ready so I decided the best case scenario for me was to pre-curl my hair, which is how I've been having it all day today. Is like the style that I used to always do in, like in high school. When I'd wear, whenever I wanted to wake up with curly hair in the morning, I would do this. So I just got to the hotel. It's 4.30? 4.35ish. I have roughly two hours to get ready and relax. My hair is basically done. I just need to make sure that my bangs, like this piece that didn't curl, gets curled. I'm gonna shower, put on a face mask, do my makeup. I also did bring in a second outfit. I'll show you guys. I wasn't sure if I wanted to wear this dress, but I also recently bought this cute green dress. And it has like these frills at the bottom. So we will see what I end up wearing. I think it's probably gonna be this. I'm not tired just yet, but I feel myself getting there. I drove like a good almost seven hours. Got my canvases all prepped on the panels. Got my tattoo done. I have eaten. I've e I ate raisin canes for lunch. But tonight, I have really high hopes that I'll sell a lot of prints. I brought prints for all of the paintings that I have up today, except for two of them. One of them, I couldn't find like the cardboard backings of it, so I decided just to leave it behind. And if people are interested in it, I could just direct them to the website where I'd be able to ship it to them. And one of the other paintings, it's still not completed, but I did want to have it because most of it is done. I just, I need to paint a hand on there. <laughs> The hand is not even done yet and I'm still displaying it. I'm gonna go ahead and shower, get the grossness off of me, do a face mask, and just decompress and start getting ready. Okay, I didn't record as much as I was supposed to for me getting ready. So this video is not gonna, it's gonna be shit. It's gonna be shit in terms of seeing behind the scenes, but now you're gonna see the scene. The scene is that I look good. I look really, really good. So I went with the green dress and then these are the stockings I wore actually. I did these loafers and then I did these stockings, which is cute because then you can see my tattoo. So I'm gonna head over to the place now just to make sure I get parking, which I don't know if it's gonna happen because I wanna go get boba tea before. So we'll see how we'll see how things turn out. But I'm excited! Pancakes and booze encourage artists to bring as many paintings as they wish. However, the only requirement is that they bring a minimum of three paintings. So fortunately, I was able to bring seven paintings with me. And the really cool thing about Pancakes and Booze is that they allow you to juxtapose your paintings to your liking. So what I decided to do is grab my biggest piece and put it so where like the light would be shining right on it because I had a feeling it would catch viewers' eyes. And I was right. A lot of them stopped by my panel just because it, they caught their eye. They also encourage artists to sell art prints. The only caveat is they don't provide space for it. They tell you to bring some kind of bin. Fortunately, I bought the storage box the day before the event and that's where I kept all my art prints and then on the side I had a few show pieces of art prints. Are these yours? <gasps> oh, that's so cute.
An hour into the show, I decided to walk around and start mingling with some of the artists. This specific artist, she introduced me to her interactive art and she made a game out of it with the guests that were there. So she showed me how to play it and it was just a game where you toss the hair ties and try to get it caught onto the paintings itself. And then I didn't know this, but you could have won a prize if you actually got the hair tie stuck on there. So here I won a box of chalk and I couldn't believe it because I was like, what? Are you sure? You're gonna give it to me? Little of me? And then I ended up throwing in another one and I got a balloon as well. We did end up getting yelled at for the balloon, so we had to get it tied closer to my wrist so that way it wouldn't be a fire hazard. <laughs> but yeah, dude, these artists are fucking sick. They're so cool with their ideas. Live painting was also encouraged. In the Dallas show, I believe there was four live painters. Personally, my favorite live painting, I'll show you at the, more towards the end of the Dallas show, is someone was painting a portrait of the Joker. Tonight's event also extended to outside due to the high volume of artists and vendors that were participating today. Out here is also where they were making and serving the pancakes and to be honest, I forgot that they were having pancakes up until the very end of the show. The event lasted until midnight, decided I was done socializing by 11 p.m. So that's when I grabbed my pancake and started tearing everything down. The next morning, I headed to Okaeri Cafe, which is a Tokyo-style theme restaurant. Both the atmosphere and the food is inspired from cafes over there in Tokyo. I was overwhelmed by the vast menu, so I asked the barista for her recommendation of her favorite drink. And she, she told me this, but it ended up being putrid. It was so disgusting and I'm so sorry. But luckily, face was saved because that fucking omurice and dumplings that I ordered was so fire. I was craving it as I'm editing this video right now. I'm just thinking, damn, I really want that right now. But if you ever find yourself in the Dallas area close by Okaeri Cafe, I think it's worth it to go. The music was very cozy. The customer service was very excellent. After I mixed up my drink, it was pretty good. But they also have other coffee items that looked way much better than what I ordered. After Okaeri Cafe, I headed over to the holy land of Miniso. Miniso is... I don't know what kind of store to describe it, but everything in there is very, 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 very... A million times very of cuteness. Um, they have a lot of Sanrio items. They also have really cute plushies, pens, so many pens! I ended up buying one because I'm a server and I'm tired of my pens going missing. So I feel like if my pen is super cute, no one will steal it. However, I did buy uh, some Sanrio items for one of my besties. They have at least two walls just filled to the brim of plushies. I did end up buying two of them. I was almost tempted by this very cute one right here but instead i went with this one i ended up naming her sugar and i was just swooned by her little backpack like what kind of keep secrets can she keep in there huh pookie i also went with the green one and oh my god just look at so many plushies besides plushies and stationary items they also sell some household items as well as food i personally don't buy any of the snacks from here because i think it's a little overpriced compared to like daiso or other asian markets They also sell skincare items such as like the Tony Moly, but again, I'd rather buy these from Ulta because they're kind of overpriced. But yeah, this is the holy land of Miniso. Literally breakfast, slay. Dude, that looks fucking good. How's your food? What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> A burrito. Show us yours. <laughs> oh, please. You see it? <laughs> no, it's just like the wrapping, it's just the parchment paper. 
Yeah, I was thinking that there. Um, right there, and then right here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Lovely. Stunning. Beautiful. I'm gonna go return this now. We're gonna pick up this bad boy. This one's to love and mortality. Can we go right here? Okay. Oh, yeah. Because on my last show, people would always ask what like, my cash shop was or what my Venmo is, so I decided just to print out some bar barcodes. I also have these name cards, and if people want to read about the stories or see like the behind the scenes, they can just scan the barcode and it takes them straight to the Instagram post about it. <laughs> we're gonna take a look around one more time and then we're gonna bounce and get on with the day when getting ready, personally, I like to do my hair first. I feel like if I do my makeup first and then I do my hair, I feel like the makeup's just going to slide up because of all the heat that's so close to my face. I know it's not going to happen. It's just me being like overthinking, but still, I think it holds value. Okay, so I got my eyebrows done. I got primer on. We're gonna go with concealer next. Once I got my concealer on here, I'm gonna go in with my contour stick. And then we're gonna go with my cream blush. It's brand new, so it's really pretty. Set, I'm gonna go with my foundation. Then I'll just blend it in my fingers, I guess. I guess. So we're about to go. Miles is tying his shoes. <laughs> Can you get a fit check? Is a fetch stick. Other way. Other way? Yeah, like like, like that? horizontal. Like horizontal? <laughs> <laughs> Fit, check, sleeves, <laughs> let it go. Cheese. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so far. Go that. Um, we have a Opposite of the Dallas show, I didn't record so much of the event itself tonight in Oklahoma City. Instead, I want to show you more of like what it was like setting up for everything. Fortunately, I did get a chance to connect and meet with some one of the some of the most beautiful artists here tonight. Is that like that one Instagram model? Yes. <laughs> She's so pretty. I was like, you're her. I want to. How do you do it? Like... No fucking way. And then you just get them on the canvases. So I. I Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, dude, I hope you saw a lot of prints tonight, then. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. This time I did not forget about the pancakes, but I did have to wait almost like an hour in line for them. But shout out to the guy who made them because he put blueberries in them. Just woke up. We're gonna try mochi nut today. Mochi First time. Slay. Like did wake up like this. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Those are cutie. Wait, those are so cute. 
a biscoff one. A sprinkle one. Dragon fruit. Which one's your favorite? Uh, my favorite one's a strawberry cheesecake. Ooh. I saw on the website that you guys had banana milk. Do you guys still carry that one? Oh, uh, no, we don't. Oh, that's okay. Where do you want to sit? Where are we going to sit? I don't know. I can sit here. Sit on my lips. Sit on my lips. I got a little punch card. I don't know when we'll be back here again because we don't have one the, where we live. Oh, but he gave me three. Because you got three donuts. That makes sense. That's a slam keeping this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's like the stock colors. We're in line at Whataburg and we have Namu. Yeah. I know you want to try one really bad. Which one is it? Maybe Tiramisu? Oh, we're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> oh, fuck. This one's the pistachio one. Okay. I like that one better. Uh -huh. So the first one was a four. This one's a five. Five and a half. Five and a half. Now we're giving it a five. And the last one is taro. That one I can taste. A six. That would be a six in my book. Mm -hmm. One was probably the only one where I could. The flavor really like came out. So that was the video. I hope you guys liked it because I loved going and experiencing these art shows because it helps me kick out the imposter syndrome that I have as an artist. And it allows me to network, like I said, with really cool, amazing other artists. Some of the artists that I met in Oklahoma, her name is Aramaris, there was Bianca, there was Aurora. There's so many cool girly pops and artists that just I was able to connect with. It's really cool when you do have the chance to get that because not only do you guys like share similar interests, but you guys can like bounce off of one another ideas. And then because you follow her and now you and she follows you on Instagram, audiences that you guys have and like the followers, they start like merging. They find you because of her. And it's just, it's just a beautiful community. I'm very thankful for these two experiences. I'm definitely going to do another art show in Dallas in the coming month of January for the Chocolate and Art Show. If you're wanting to see my art or any other artist's works that you saw in Thank You Some Booze, they're most likely going to be in the Chocolate and Art Show as well. So I believe the dates are January 7th, January 18th and 19th. It's definitely going to be on my website for the date of the event. If you're around, if you're available, come and pop out and talk to us. Us artists love it when you come and talk to us. Sometimes we get really nervous going up to patrons and starting a striking a conversation. Sometimes it's hard to do that. But when the patrons, like you guys, and the supporters make the first move about talking, it makes it so much easier. It makes it so much easier. But yes, this that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next week because next week's we're gonna do a sketchbook tour. So we'll also be going some of the drawings that I had made in 2022 and the ones that I've made up to date.